It's the Weekly Reset, and I'm going to go over everything that's available for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is the Weekly Reset, but before the Weekly Reset, we are getting two times Infamy this week. As well as the Community Emblems, if you participated, will be awarded to eligible Guardians later on this week. But before we get into the video, if you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see more Destiny content as soon as it's released, then go ahead and sub to the channel, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter, and also go ahead and join the Guardian Watcher Discord. It's a growing LFG community where content creators and streamers can also post all of their Destiny 2 videos as well as when they go live. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below. So, let's go ahead and start with the challenges for this week. For the Traveler, we need to go ahead and complete 20 of Ikora's bounties as well as get 5,000 XP for your clan. As well as go ahead and open up 4 chests and forge two weapon frames. Coming down for the Vanguard, you need to go ahead and complete three daily story missions, as well as complete three uh, strikes. Modifiers this week are Solar Singe, Grounded, as well as Brawler. Then we need to complete a Nightfall and one with 100,000 points. Nightfalls this week are a Garden World, Inside Terminus, and the Inverted Spire. Coming down to Gambit, for the Reckoning, you need to go ahead and get 100% progress in the Reckoning. And the modifiers this week are Void Singe, Prism, as well as Brawler. Coming over here, for Gambit, we need to go ahead and complete three Gambit matches, as well as complete four Gambit Prime matches. Coming to Crucible, Crucible this week is Doubles. That's interesting. And we need to go ahead and complete five Crucible matches. Coming to the Tango Shore, Petrovenge is located in the Devalian Mists. And we need to go ahead and complete two of her weekly bounties. And then last but not least, we have Nessus. And this is where our wonderful heroic adventure is, as well as our Flashpoint. And we need to complete public events, lost sectors, and heroic adventures. If we complete the heroic public events, you can actually get this done a lot faster. Welcome. So let's see what Tess Everest has for us at the Eververse this week. So, starting with the weekly offerings, we have the Stolen Goods Ornament for Truth. Looks pretty badass. This is actually what I use on my Truth. Then we have the Kit Bash Shell. And this was actually the ghost shell that was um, available last week for you to purchase with Bright Dust. Then we have Quick Hug Emote. Not doing that. Coming down here we have a ship. Pretty cool looking ship. We have a vehicle. This must definitely be uh, Devrin K's vehicle. And then, last but not least, we have your Best of Year 1 Engrams. Coming down here for Bright Dust, we have your Fire Team Medallion, as well as your two Boons. And we have this wonderful Shader right here. Then we have the Arc Shell. Looks pretty cool. I might actually buy this one, since I bought the Solar Shell last week. Then we got a wonderful another exotic vehicle. This is uh, more so the emissary uh, vehicle, I guess. Then we have uh, another legendary vehicle. This kind of looks retarded. Skipping the seasonal offerings as well as the archive and coming straight down to the bright dust. We have the mirror mirror emote. Then we have this wonderful ship. I don't like it at all. Looks pretty ugly. Then we have the Intrepid Inquiry Hood for the Warlock. The uh, Ultraviolet Emote 
for the Borealis, and I love the way this thing looks. Oh my god, this thing looks beautiful. Then we have the Defenseless, to be armed. Uh, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ornament for the Callus Mini Tool. Then we have Queen of Hearts ship, which is K6 uh, ship. Pretty cool. And then we have the Crown of Sorrow Projection. And since I have this ghost shell on, it's not going to show. So let me go ahead and switch ghosts. And that's what the projection looks like. So, coming down to consumables, we have your Fireteam Medallion, your two Boons, then the Royal Welcome Shader. Then the uh, Dark Blade Effects, Transmat Effect. It's pretty cool. Then we have the Arctic Pearl Shader. And then last but not least, we have the Ghost White Transmat Effect. And then we have your bounties. So as I said earlier, it is double infamy this week, as well as the community emblems most likely will be awarded on Friday later on this week. And if you participated in a nightfall last week, then you will get that emblem. And I'm my friend, bring this to the end of the video. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it and feel free to watch these videos as well. Definitely get subscribed for more Destiny 2 content coming at you guys soon. And I will see you guys in the next video.